Hey folks, Colton Woods here with your Monday morning motivation. We're going to jump right into it. Guys, this week we're going to be talking about judgment. Now, there's a lot of different ways this conversation can go, but I'm definitely going to share with you a personal story that I think many of you can connect with. Um, a couple of years ago, I took this test called a Myers-Briggs. Many of us have taken it, and it was a certainly informative and helpful along the journey that I was on at that point in my life. And one of the letters of my personality type, per se, was I had a J, so it was ISTJ, and the last one being a judgment. And the other option that you could have scored in the area would, would have been a P, which has been perceiving. And a lot of that's how you take in the world and look at things and whatever. And so, but a lot of times when you hear judgment, our human brains a lot of times go, oh, that person is more judgmental about people or whatever. And, you know, we all have judgmental thoughts, but um, some more than others and maybe me more than others at times. And over the course, and now this has been several years, I have become a lot more better because I started to realize, you know, if I want to be at the top of my game, I want to be their acquaintances with the people that are the best of the best in, in what we do. Um, though, one of the biggest misconceptions is that um, those people are oftentimes the most open-minded people. And when it really gets down to it, I'm extremely open-minded. But what kind of judgments hold us back and what kind of judgments are good judgments? That's something that I've really been thinking about here the last few weeks and, and almost probably to a, a, an unhealthy extent of how how much thought can get put into something because I'm kind of in my head and not necessarily present in the moment. But it's something I want to share with you guys because I think there's good judgments and there's probably negative judgments, right? Um, and how can there be good judgments? Well, good judgments can keep you alive, right? We could look at our horses and say, you know, if, if they feel fear or they feel like, hey, that wolf over there, or that bear over there might be a threat, they have to make a judgmental call to save themselves. Well, we have to do the same things in our lives, in our horsemanship, whether it's with other people. We have to make judgmental calls to make sure we're centering ourselves with healthy people in our circles, making sure that you know we have healthy relationships with our family and friends, and make sure we make judge, good judgment calls with our horses and we stay safe, and that we're actually there to help our horses, and we're able to help our horses by using good judgment, right? Now, the flip side of this is that there's also some more negative slash bad judgment, if you will. And I, you know, I think it's just a bit, a matter of self-awareness. And this is something that I learned, um, a couple weeks ago when I was working with, um, a sports psychologist, Dr. Paul Hafner on some things that I've been trying to accomplish in my journey. And that was that I've been working on trying to be more present in everything. And that's something I certainly struggle with. And as my self-awareness grew in being in my inability and lack there and my inability to be present, I felt like I couldn't be as present because I was more aware of how not present I was, right? And so that's the same thing that I've kind of experienced with this this judgment journey per se, is that the more I've become aware of the judgmental thoughts that one has, sometimes it feels like it's harder to not be judgmental, but in fact it is that we're just more aware of the thoughts that we already have and it's becoming overwhelming to the fact that we're going, oh my gosh, like I didn't realize this, that this was such a prevalent part of my thought process throughout the day. And a lot of those that I've been tackling is more negative judgments towards oneself. And it's like self-sabotage. And that's probably been the most frustrating because I am a firm believer in manifestation and believing in oneself. And there's just those minor thoughts throughout the day that might, that will hold us back. And so, and a lot of those judgments on my end is when I kind of put too much on my plate and I'm not able to get everything done every single day. I judge myself pretty hard for that without giving myself the break and the understanding and going back to a philosophy of we, we overestimate how much we can get done in a day and we underestimate how long how much we might be able to get done in a longer period of time whether it's a month six months a year five years right we often underestimate how much we can get done that time but we overestimate how much we can get done in a day and I do the same thing I'm guilty of that and then that causes a bit of a negative judgment against oneself because you're not holding yourself accountable you're not 
you didn't hit the gym or you didn't get done the minor things or maybe you ate some food that you know wasn't as good for you because it was easier than eating something healthy right all these little minor judgments and so but i think it's important that we start to take inventory throughout our days and our weeks of what kind of what thoughts are we truly having and uh i'll kind of steal a page here out of uh warwick schiller's deal because i i just briefly heard it on a podcast uh, where he was talking about him going through a journey of handling with judgments. And the first thing we have to do with anything is we have to build our self-awareness. And so he had this exercise where uh, I think he had like a little pocket of pebbles or something like that in one pocket. Anytime he had uh, a judgmental thought, he put a pebble in another pocket. And so you, that's, a, that's a very physical way to bring self-awareness to judgmental thoughts. And then once we're aware of those, of what we're, of what's happening in our mind or what's happening in our lives, then we can design a plan and a journey on how to make healthier uh, choices or healthier networks and healthier habits. So, but anyway, guys, that's a little bit about my journey with dealing with judgment. There's an, there's an exercise out of Warwick Schiller's deal. Full credit to him on that because it's been definitely inspiring to hear um, his journey. And then it's been really neat to dive in this myself because I know that I want to share this with you because I know that if I'm going through this, I'm not the only one. And maybe many of you uh, are at some point in your journey where you might find this beneficial. So we hope that this certainly helps you uh, along your journey. And we hope you guys have a blessed, blessed day, a blessed week. Hope you guys stay warm and are not dealing with all this rain that we've got going on. But anyway, guys, y'all have a great one. Colton was with Colton's Horsemanship. Y'all take care. And be sure to check out the Heart of Horsemanship podcast. We just launched, we just dropped another great episode and many, many more to come. So check out the Heart of Horsemanship podcast too, guys. All right, y'all take care. Bye.